Hello everybody, welcome back to Viking MTG. Um, just want to do a little reminder um, for this opening. Um, I am doing a giveaway in case you haven't looked in my past videos. Um, once I hit 50 subs, um, I will give away one of these beauties. Um, the winner will have their choice between the three of them. And the others, um, whatever's left, will go into my, plus the other stuff that I have. Um, we'll go into my grab bag pool. Uh, I have started a Patreon. Uh, I have more than enough stuff for a long time to do a uh, long, long time to do uh, grab bags. And it'll be more than worth it. It's $8. Um, and I put together a very nice, uh, I'll probably do 15 cards. Uh, do it like a pack. And uh, I'll, I'll decide the actual mix of cards, but it'll be more than worth um, more than worth what you want um, and if you become a patron um, and choose you know whatever tier you choose uh, just let me know you know if you play modern um, or commander or you play standard you know what era of cards you prefer as long as I can get the cards but then you know get those packs or those singles kind of try and get you those you know in that group um, I will. So, you know, I'm here to serve my patrons and serve my subscribers and keep you guys happy and give you what you want. And um, so I always take feedback, um, ideas for new stuff, uh, stuff you'd like to see. So, uh, this is the uh, classic 6th edition pack that I opened last time. And I got the uh, Enlightened Tutor out of it. Uh, which was extremely nice. Um, I got it here. I did it on a live stream. So I know live streams are kind of a pain to search through when it's over and see uh, everything. Plus the audio. Uh, turns out I had done, I had iTunes open while I was filming, uh, doing the live stream. And I guess that doesn't turn out so well. Um, it put up all this feedback. It was absolutely horrible once I, uh, figured it out but I hit that out of the first um, the first one of my I've got three of these sixth edition uh, classic packs I had a whole brick and uh, opened three a while a long time ago long long time ago we're talking 15 years ago and uh, I put them back together I put these in a box and uh, hadn't touched them this whole time so I decided you know, I get back to opening some of my old stuff. So I got that Enlightened Tutor and I got an Attacar Waste. Let's see if I can find where I put that thing in me here binder. There we go. I got an Attacar Waste, a uh, Enlightened Tutor, and Ash Nod's Altar, and there was one more that was on the value map. So very nice. Um, it was awesome to hit these. Any of the tutors is uh, just an awesome little piece of history, that's for sure. And Attacar Waste, it's like a little shock land. So. Let's uh, go ahead and crack another one of them 6th edition starters. I'm going to take my uh, my time on this one. And uh, let everybody see the cards. And they're old, you know. It's old stuff. These were, uh, this set came out in 1999. Uh, so it is an older set, that's for sure. Um, considered classic, um, technically an advanced set. And it's funny, um, I found out years ago, what made them advanced, the actual wizard's description of what made them advanced is because there was no rule book included. That's it. <laughs> That's all that made them advanced. And I guess to a certain extent, the amount of text in different cards. And in the old days, some of the cards had a, just a ridiculous amount of text in them. It was nuts. So, let's go ahead and uh, crack this here. I'm not seeing the pull tab on this. They are so inconsistent with these old products as far as there's a pull tab. So, pow, and we're going to see whether it's wrapped on the inside. Uh, I've had them. Uh, I think it was brick. Back in the day, I had one or two that weren't wrapped on the inside. And the rest have been. Uh, the last one we opened was. So, it is wrapped on the inside. That's great. Uh, what I like about this is the only thing you can see on the outside is the land. Um, and the land goes to the first 
separation there. And those are all the uncommons and rares. I, if I remember, that's the uncommons and rares. And this is all commons. So I'm going to try my best to uh, to not reveal anything until we're ready. i got to find the other pull tab. Pull tabs thankfully work. Um, just don't want to risk damaging the cards. I mean, they're not, it's not like I'm opening off in beta or anything, but still don't want to. I'm not open boosters here, but I'm not going to wear blue gloves. That would be definitely ripping him off. That'd be, that'd be uh, not cool. Alright, so I believe these are all lands. Nope, no, I've got. Trying to remember here where everything is. I think this is our rares and uncommons. If I'm not incorrect, these are our commons. Uh, we're going to go through the commons Fear, Stormcrow, Boomerang, Elendu Griffin. Uh, this thing's been around a long time. Uh, it's just a 2 2 for 4 of flying a first strike, which back then was pretty solid. Shatter, Blood Pet. It's kind of a cool card. He's a Thrall. He's one mana, one one, and if you sacrifice him, you add one, um, one green, one uh, black tier mana pool. <laughs> He's just a little guy that you can slot, uh, you can sacrifice. It's kind of funny. Tidal Surge. Um, it's one and a blue, and tap up to three target creatures without flying. It's very useful for two mana. Being able to take three blockers right out of the picture and swing, it's very nice. Cat Warriors, pretty simple. The, for, the forest walk, island walk, that stuff was was pretty awesome back then. Uh, Spitting Earth, Sabertooth Tiger, Lost Soul, Heroes Resolve. That's a way to keep your creature alive, that's for sure. But I'd, there's a two cost giant growth. I don't see why I wouldn't play Splash Green and play giant growth. Um, Red Blood Tree Folk, Remedy, Train Armadon. Painful Memories, Dream Cash. It's always a, I love the art on this card. It's pretty cool. Uh, Wind Drake, Armored Pegasus, Goblin Elite Infantry, Siphon Soul, Psychic Venom, Giant Growth. Speak of the Devil. Uh, Flame Spirit. Flame Spirit's cool. I mean, he's a ground two three that you can pump, make huge. He's a Shivan Dragon on the ground that costs one less. Uh, Pyrotechnics, Python. Circle Protection Green, Skate Zombies, that was always one of my favorites, the art's awesome, uh, Diavant Archer, Gaseous Form, Viashino Warrior, they're bringing the Viashino, there's Viashinos in uh, M19 too, and uh, Naba Shaman, and Naba Shaman's pretty cool, uh, he was back then. Um, he was a 4 mana 2-2, two, two, and you could just pay 1 red, tap him, and deal 1 damage to our creature or player. You know, you could just whittle somebody down with him. Uh, he's he's nice and burned. It's just a nice little derp to stick out there. Back then, it was it was cool, you know, having those kind of creatures. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Of these backwards, yep. So, here's our own comments. We have Orcish Artillery, by the way, two of the most expensive cards in the set. Uh, they're both tutors and they're both uncommons. Orcish Artillery, Mystical Tutor, pow! You got one of the tutors, nice. So, both of these we opened, both of them we hit tutors. Very nice. Mystical Tutor, Mind Warp. Mind Warp's a cool card. Um, three and a black and X, and uh. You look at target player's hand and choose X cards from it, the player discards them. So you can just wipe out somebody's hand late game. It's a very nice card. Um, Iron Star is a one mana. Um, whenever a player plays a red spell, you may pay one if you do gain one life. Uh, Sarah's Blessing. It's a, it's a colorless and a white. Uh, attacking doesn't cause creatures you control to tap. So it gives everything vigilance. Uh, Ivory Cup, one mana artifact. Whenever a player plays a white spell, you may pay one if you do gain one life. We have a Bog Wraith. 
A crystal vein. Very nice. Crystal vein uh, is a... Uh, it's a land, of course. Uh, you tap it to add one colorless mana to your mana pool. Tap it, and you can also tap it, sacrifice it, and add two colorless mana to your mana pool. We have a Thicket Basilisk. Thicket Basilisk is a 5 mana 2 4, which stinks. Um, but if he's blocked or block, If he blocks or is blocked by a non wall creature, destroy that creature. So he's got Death Touch against everything but a wall. Uh, Ether Flash, which is also a cool card. It's 2 and 2 red. And whenever a creature comes into play, Ether Flash deals 2 damage to it. So it, it would blow away a lot of creatures they put into play. Uh, it can make a big problem for cards. I mean, imagine this and against the current mono red. You're going to blow up most of our creatures the moment they put them on the board. And I believe we're getting into our rares here. Yep, we have a Grinning Totem. I remember that card. Definitely remember that card. Grinning Totem, this is one with a ridiculous amount of text. Four mana artifact. You pay two, tap it, sacrifice it. You search target opponent's library for a card and set that card aside. That player then shuffles his or her library. You may play the card as though it were in your hand. At the beginning of your next upkeep, if you haven't played the card, put it in its owner's graveyard. So this is almost like playing a Gaunti, but you don't get the creature, and you have to have the same color mana. This doesn't allow you to use any color mana to cast it. So it's it's okay. It's never huge. Um, an illicit auction. Another one ridiculous text. It's a uh, three and two red. Sorcery. Choose target creature. Each player may bid life for control of that creature. You begin the bidding at zero, proceeding in turn order. Each player may top the high bid. This auction ends when the high bid stands. The high bidder chooses life equal to the high bid and chains, gains control of the creature. So it's a gambling card. It's pretty cool, actually. We have an Order of the Sacred Torch. This is our fifth rare. Uh, tap it, pay one life, and counter target black spell. And there's a mountain. And uh, that's it. That's the that's the pack. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a pretty cool product. It's uh, I definitely had a good time opening this. As far as value, um, let's take a look. Um, I think the only thing in here really on the map is Mystical Tutor. speed look here mystical tutor right now is between eight nine dollars um, so that's not too bad um, let me see Um, so we have Mystical Tutor is around um, right now showing eight bucks, and Crystal Vein I don't think is on the map actually. No, it's not. I thought it was, but it's not. Uh, Grinning Totem, uh, Grinning Totem also was not in the value range. Illicit Auction is actually a really cool card. Um, it's about a buck, but it's a it's kind of a crazy card. I think it is. So that covers it. As far as uncommons, um, it's Ashnod's Altar, Mystical Tutor, Worldly Tutor, and Enlightened Tutor. And I don't think there's any others over a buck. There's an island in this set uh, that's a dollar. It's the like Birds of Paradise Island. Let's see. Oh, here's one. This is it. It's a one dollar island. I guess people really love the art on it because it's got, I don't know, a dragon flying across in it. I don't know if that has any significance, but I guess people really like that island. So let's see how many we have. Because, yeah, they sell consistently for a dollar. I remember it being a big deal. So, no, only got one of them. That stinks. Um, but, hey, it's still a one dollar land, shockingly. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> And let me see, Dread of Night, Parish. Those are the only other two uh, uncommons. Oh, Summer Bloom, Goblin Recruiter. We didn't hit a Goblin Recruiter. Oh, stink! 
I love Goblin Recruiter. I remember him. And, uh, of course, Counterspell. I don't think we hit any Counterspells, did we? Take a look. Any Counterspells? Counterspell is always a good card to have if you play uh, Modern. Nope. No Counterspells. But, hey, it was a good time. So we got a Mystical Tutor, which is sweet. Um, awesome. So, I know I had a good time. I hope everybody enjoyed this. And uh, go ahead and clean things up. And everybody have a good night. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Patreon if you like. And uh, see you later. They just, they don't work the way.